So let's take a look at some of the other things you can do with presets. So if I just grab a sphere and I'm going to scale this up, I'm going to select a face and I'm going to extrude that face just a little bit, like so. Then if I add a preset, I can drag in our sphere, choose, choose the poly extrude face, which is what I'm interested in. And then I can start doing some things. So um, if I just wanted to extrude everything, I can just invert the components right now. And you can see that the component count up here has just um, gone up to 400, so 0, 400. And then that means we're, uh, there are 400 faces being output to the poly extrude face node. So let's just turn that off. And then let's turn on use component size. So if we turn on use component size and then set a, a minimum face area. So let's just choose one here. Well, uh, sorry, that's maximum face area. And then we can increase the minimum face area as well to create some interesting effects, like so. We can also do things if I turn on the uh, if I turn on the um, uh, show edges. Uh, you can see that the most of the polygons in the sphere are quads, but there are some triangles at the poles. So we can select um, we can select uh, faces based on the number of edge, but based on their edge count. So let's go down to face only settings down here, and we can choose. Um, an edge count of say three and then say exactly and then we get this so just be aware that when you're using use component size if you change the underlying geometry this changes your um, the faces that are selected obviously because their component size is changing as you um, increase the subdivision as the faces get smaller so what we need to do is um, <clears throat> increase our oh no sorry we need to uh, decrease our, max, our minimum uh, face area because the faces are getting smaller. And then we can decrease our maximum as well. You can invert this if you want to, so you get this. And um, then you can do some other things as well. So if I were to um, select a face and delete it, and then add a process, we're going to teach you a little shortcut. If you hold down Alt and click on the Process Shelf button here, you go straight to the um, uh, modeling history list. So, if that's obviously if you have the model selected, um, so that's just a little shortcut removes a step. So let's just create this delete component here, and then I'm going to just um, turn on modulus. So um, let's say that deletes these faces here like that. Then I'm going to select face and I'm going to extrude that so let's just go extrude face like so okay now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a process so I'll just hold down alt and click on the process shelf button I'm going to choose this poly extrude face 2 here and then I'm going to choose add boundary components which is just going to add the components that were on the boundary there so that's what you get from that smooth that if you want to well, do whatever you want <laughs> so let's just turn the edge display off there so kind of quirky um, <clears throat> and as I say obviously these are all compound one another so uh, if I was to change the modulus there we get this or say if I was to do choose the modulus of 2 we'd get this kind of thing go right up keep going choose that and we could we could grow that selection if we wanted to <laughs> so yeah just playful have a go